Got a call the other day from Rich Udell. You might remember Paige and Rich Udell from their C8 Callaway Corvette launch edition. That we, I did a video on that uh, a while back. So uh, maybe you remember that. So anyway, I got a call the other day and said, come on over, Bob, you got to come over and see uh, what we've done to the engine compartment. So today we're going to take a ride over to take a look. I have the upgraded engine compartment. As you can see, there's some lights up here and over here you have a piece of carbon fiber there and a piece of carbon fiber over here. But eh, nothing here and nothing here. And I, if, if you watch previous videos, I've struggled to try to get this section and this section to look halfway decent. It's halfway decent, but it isn't decent, if you know what I mean. So I think what Rich has done, he's changed something in his engine compartment that takes away all of this that doesn't look so great. So let's get in the car and go over and take a ride. He's only about eight minutes away, and we'll go over and uh, see what Rich has got up his sleeve for us today. So we're here today with Rich Udell, and he is a proud owner of a beautiful Callaway Corvette, and uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. But today, we're going to talk a little bit about some enhancements that he's done to the engine compartment. And so, let me uh, go over here to Rich, who's standing here by his beautiful car. And good morning. Good morning. I'm oh, glad hi. you're here. Uh, glad to be here. Um, you have some interesting uh, enhancements you've done to the engine compartment area. Would you mind just telling everybody what what's going on here. It looks beautiful, carbon fiber. Uh, I'd be happy to. Yeah. Um, the car, the one disappointment that I had, not only with this car, but with the C8 in general, is that the engine compartment, in my estimation, um, just lacked luster. And so I wanted to do something with it that was not gaudy, and this particular car has the carbon fiber mirrors and it has carbon fiber rocker panels and of course the Callaway treatment with carbon fiber in the rear of the car. Oh yeah, beautiful. And so I contacted a company called AG Motorsports. They're out of Columbus, Ohio. I did quite a lot of research on various companies that are producing the um, carbon fiber pieces. And I found that the quality control varies greatly among companies. And AG Motorsports uses laser and very high tech equipment so that they can reproduce these carbon fiber pieces perfectly. And as you know, with carbon fiber, there's no remakes and there's no fixes. They're either right or the first time <laughs> or you throw them out yeah. and fit it is what um, I'm a big fan of, of fit and finish and their pieces are so precise that I was just absolutely amazed my wife and I put this whole package on in less than two hours and it um, especially I would draw your attention to the shock tower covers they've done just a great job and in doing so, you don't have to remove every, anything, actually. There's three bolts that have enough thread, and they've manufactured this kit. So you apply the pieces, not with tape or anything, but use those, the, the remaining threads on those two pieces, to the, which are the shock tower covers, to secure them. Yeah. Um, the procedure that you use for installation basically there is a center piece here which you find the center fit this piece first and then everything fits to it and it fits uh, you know anything that's made with human hands is 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 not totally perfect but this is probably as close to a perfect kit and fit as i've seen and their carbon fiber i think is just amazing they've done a really nice job with it it looks factory uh it, it just really looks like it belongs here on the it looks like it belongs in the pack it does yeah, it does it, it's not and like it doesn't look like an add-on or a tack-on no which a lot of the stuff 
looks that way. But and they doesn't. are in the process, they're in the prototype stage, and it will be coming, but they are making an additional carbon fiber piece that will fit in these two locations that will actually complete the package totally. Okay, and on both sides of it. As I said, um, I think when you look at it, it looks like it should have been um, at the car, at the or in the car at the time it was manufactured, and I am personally not one to have gaudy things. I think this is very tasteful, and I think that it speaks well with uh, and incorporates in with the, with the C8 Corvette. And you got, folks should have to remember too that if you take this piece off, it looks this flat black, and it has a lot of streakiness to it and it it's not a constant flat color it's kind of uh it's it's lousy. <laughs> it looks lousy well it does and it, it water spots and it marks yep. Yep. and then there you'll get dull places on it yep. and you have this beautiful um beautifully engineered piece and you look in there and you go oh yeah. you know so that <laughs> yeah. was that was part of exactly. my thought process oh yeah this looks so and AG uh, Motorsports, by the way, uh, for those Corvette aficionados that are interested, it's out of Columbus, Ohio, and this is not made in a foreign country. This is made in the United States. They have their own plant, their own facility. They do all of their own R&D. Um, and to me, at this point in time in our history and where our country is, American made is also something that is of interest to me. Uh, yep. Interest to me too. I totally agree with that. But um, so, just uh, in in uh, wrapping it up, you've got uh, all of these carbon fiber pieces on this side of the engine, obviously on the left side of the engine, and then it comes down on the left side over here, goes across here. Be it's absolutely beautiful, and then goes down to the front, and it comes down here and trails off uh, right about here. Um, what else are you and then you also mentioned you were going to, they were going to do some add-on pieces that are going to go right there you yes mentioned, you mentioned that earlier and you've got a beautiful uh, looking engine compartment once you get this done and get that ugly looking section down here which i've been fighting with on my car and i think this might be the solution so and the interesting thing that they've done if you notice there's two holes right here my question was what goes there they said well continued use you can um, scratch or mar the carbon fiber that's where these two um, pins come down um, eventually that would wear on the surface so they have just cut those out so that they fit perfectly excellent I got you perfecto thank you you're entirely welcome I'm it's glad good. you came over and yeah. let me allowed me to share this with you it's always fun to come over here you know that and uh, we always have a good chat so thank you, Richard L. And uh, Richard's got his beautiful Callaway. What, now this is a name for this, right? A Callaway. This is the launch edition launch prototype. Edition. This is the only one in existence in the world right now. They wow. have not started producing them. They have two mule cars that they've done their R and D yeah. on, and then it went on this car. So okay. this is this is a very unique piece to begin with, and I think with AGM uh, or AG Motorsports, I think it's even more unique. They added yeah, to the package. Yeah, it does. It looks, it looks very very nice. Okay, thanks, Rich. Thank you very much, and uh, we'll have to come back and see what next you do. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> what your next project it will be. So thank you so much, Rich. Enjoyed uh, stopping by to see you today. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.